Hello, IVF or in vitro fertilization, it's a combination of doctors and embryologists both performing together. We make the follicles, then aspirate it and give it to the embryologist who will see it in the lab and then follow the treatment accordingly. So basically for the 9 to 10 days or 11 days of injections will be given to the woman. Once the follicles are ready, we will take the woman to the OT or following a trigger. For the day of the ovum pickup, we will aspirate the follicles and give it to the lab. We have with us our senior most and the chief embryologist, Mrs. Zeba Ali Zahangir, who is with us for the last almost 15 years and given enough success to and the smile to lot of couples with her work. So she is going to tell us regarding what she does once she gets the oocyte in her hand in the lab. Hello everybody, my name is Zeba Ali. As Dr. Arindam said that uh, an embryologist is an important part of the lab, right? It is an important part of the lab because we actually make embryos and take care of them and take care of them till they are transferred to the uterus of the patient. And uh, first of all, I would, I would like to say that there is no good embryologist and bad embryologist. Embryologists are people who actually take care of embryos in a controlled environment. So a good embryologist actually a very uh, concerned type of embryologist who do a very good Q and QC of the laboratory, take care of the media, take care of the lab uh, ambience and is very finicky about small things in the laboratory from particle count to even VOC. So that is a very important part of an, a laboratory. After I get the follicular fluid from doctor, I am going fluid take deem gulo ke bar kori, acta media ashe, she media te wash kori, blood gulo separate kori, clots gulo kati, tarpo she deem take, I am abar acta onno media te reke incubator in modde diye di. Basically, our medical terminology take a deem take boli usite. Usite cumulus complex. But it is basically. Commonly, we say that our egg is bad, your egg is bad, your egg is bad, your egg is bad. It's actually the oocyte that is the most important yes, part of the... Yes, we can the, understand yeah. lots of things from yeah, there after yeah. seeing that. And then we go to the husband part where we prepare the semen. We have to take only the uh, potent sperms from there which we think are, think are morphologically normal and separate them and keep them aside for further fertilization process. Therefore, we have to take the at a certain time at the same time and the in, sorry incubator er rakhi and tar pore amra she sperm ta ke niye dutu jinish kori either we do ivf or we do icsi ivf generally is acta dish e ami dim niye sperm niye acta um, natural ambient environment te diye acta certain amount e sperm diye ami incubator er bhitore rekhe di whereas icsi what we do is we denude the eggs that means what uh, cumulus complex what dr elnam was saying we have to clear the eggs and then take the eggs and take a single it's a robotic machine which is called micro manipulator in that there are two hands one one of the hand holds the egg and the other hand actually has the sperm ami shei normal sperm se take crush kore shei ekta hate tuli and then ami dimer bhitore giye inject kore di tar por otake amra incubator e abar ferot rekhe di we keep it for a certain time and then next day we come and check for the fertilization basically here one question if the many people will ask when sabko ek question aayega sawal aayega ma'am ab kab ivf karoge aur kab icsi karoge ab kaise decide karte ho aur humko kaise pata chalega ki ye kya cheez hai aur kaise kyun kiya ja raha hai agar aap ye sawal aata hai yes this is a very good question ki ami ivf when will i do ivf and when will i do icsi so now it is completely situational our patient will pore depend kore suppose if the patient is having uh, normal sperm and the patient has patient has a history of a previous pregnancy or miscarriage then we can attempt IVF because we know there will be no chance of fertilization failure even if your sperm is good and your morphology is good there are chances that your fertilization failure ho sakta hai so generally in those cases where eggs humko zyada milta hai we split the case into IVF and ICSI where IVF is natural fertilization and ICSI is where we take the sperm and inject inside the egg now purely ICSI हम तभी करते हैं जब sperm count कम होता है 5 million के नीचे होता है या 10 million के नीचे होता है it depends on the progressive motility of the sperm कि हमको क्या आता है and आपका morphology of sperm में depend करता है अगर morphology बहुत weak हुआ तो we always prefer doing ICSI in case of frozen sperm where husband is not present on the day of the pickup 
then also we prefer doing ICSI. These are the cases we generally prefer doing ICSI. So to summarize, our data monorecta have IVF and ICSI. It depends on lab. Tar age shop kichui say. So basically, the procedure till we are finding out the eggs and giving it to the lab people, it is the same procedure for IVF and ICSI. Tar pore tadar khetre a process ta hoye jabar pore, mane IVF by ICSI process ta hobar pore, abar je culture chulbe, sheta paaj din dhore, shei culture mane. Embryo के तोड़ी कर हाँ, basically Bangla भाषा बोलते के लिए बच्चा दिल के अमरा यहाँ कौन तादी दी बड़ो कोच्ची, तो शेही तार चलते थक बे आरु पाँच दिन, शेही पाँच दिन तो खानो रा लैबे इंक्यूबेटर के मध्य विभिन्नो पार्टिकुलर कंडीशने, शेही कल्चर मीडिया ते ग्रो करे, कल्चर मीडिया होच्ची के बच्चा दिल जुनो खाबार, � most of the time, they will store the embryo. By a embryo, will okay, uh, store kore rakha hobe. Cryopreserve karenge. So, cryopreserve karene ke baad, isko ham rakhenge. Baad mein, after a month or after two months, we will transfer this uterus ke beech mein, jab sare conditions favorable rahega woman ke liye, aur unka uterus ready hoga. Hope this information is helpful to all of you. Thank you.